relevant. In this, uh, we will again see how do we convert a primal to a dual, but here the difference is uh, in the constraint it has got uh, different signs, means one is less than or equal to, one is greater than or equal to, one is equal to. In which case, how do we convert from the primal to a dual? That's what we are going to see. So, whenever we have minimization type of problem, we always prefer to have the sign to be greater than or equal to. So, let me write that. It is preferable to have greater than or equality symbol in the constraints if the primal is of minimization type. And it is preferable, it is preferable to have less than or equality symbol in the constraints in case of maximization type problems. So on that basis, what we will first do is we'll convert all this into what you call uh, greater than or equality symbol. So let me write, rewriting, rewriting the primal, rewriting the primal, minimize z equal to, it is 1 times x1 and then minus 3x2 and then minus 2x3 subject to First one has got greater than or sorry, less than or equality symbol. I need to convert it into greater than or equality symbol, which means I'll multiply both sides by negative one so that the sign will swap. So this will become minus three x one plus one times x two minus two times x three. So what we did, we multiplied uh, this left hand side with negative so minus plus minus this will become negative and i will swap the sign minus seven second is already greater than or equal to no need to change so we'll write as it is two times x1 minus four times x2 and there is no x3 so i'll bring zero times x3 greater than or equal to then the third one, equal to 10 means uh, it can be, this expression is equal to 10 means, uh, I, can, I can consider like this. If I say, if A is greater than or equal to B is true and A less than or equal to B is also true, then the only possibility is A should be equal to B. So on that basis, I will convert this into two in equations. One is minus four x1 plus three times x2 plus eight times x3 less than or equal to 10. Again, <coughs> minus four x1, three times x2 plus 8 times x3 greater than or equal to 10. So based on this logic, I split the equality sign constraint into two constraints. Now again, this I have to convert into greater than or equality symbol. So minus 4 times, I'm sorry, it is plus, plus 4 times x1 minus 3 times x2 minus 8 times x3 greater than or equal to 
minus 10. So we have got now uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4 constraints. Now let us write the standard form. Standard form of the above primal will be minimize z which is equal to 1 times x1 minus 3 times x2 minus 2 times x3 subject to minus 3 times x1 plus 1 times x2 minus 2 times x3 since it is having a greater than or equality symbol in all this, this, this and this, we will be bringing in surplus variable. So it will be 1 times minus 1 times S1. Then the second one, 2 times X1 minus 4 times X2 plus 0 times X3. Second surplus variable. Then uh, I should not consider this. I should consider this. 4 times x1 minus 3 times x2 minus 8 times x3, third surplus variable. Then the last minus 4 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 8 x3. Then one more surplus variable. Now here we don't have s2. I'm sorry, we don't have s1. We don't have S2. We don't have S3. No S4. Now we can equate it to minus 7, 12, minus 10 positive times. I can say where, sorry, just a minute. where S1, S2, S3, S4 are surplus variables and X1, X2, X3, S1, S2, S3, S4 are all non-negative. So we wrote the uh, standard form. Now we have to incorporate those surplus variables in the objective function with the zero coefficients, zero times S1, zero times S2, zero times S3, zero times S4. We are not bringing in artificial variables because we are not going to solve. We are only converting from primal to dual. Okay. Now, since The above has four constraints. Earlier in the beginning, it was having three constraints. Now it has been changed to four constraints. We will have four dual variables. Let them be W1, W2, W3, W4. Then <clears throat> then the dual of the above will be okay. So minimize minimize will become now maximize. Z we are going to write now as Z star equal to something times W1 plus something times W2 plus something times W4 
plus something times w. I'm sorry, only up to four, isn't it? Three and four. This is four, and this is three. is 3 and this is 4. What should come here? The right hand side constants of the primal means negative 7, 12, negative 10, negative 7, 12, uh, negative 10 and 10. Subject to, subject to how do we write it? We will write this column as a row now. Minus 3 times times w1 plus 2 times w2 then plus 4 minus 4 then 1 minus 4 minus 3 1 minus 4 minus 3 plus 3 Then the next column, minus 2, 0, minus 8, minus 2, 0, minus 8, then plus 8, then minus 1, 0, 0, 0. We can say. Plus, 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 plus. And then uh, 0 minus 1, 0, 0. 0 minus 1, 0, 0. Then we have 0, 0, minus 1, 0. Then last one, 0, 0, 0. Minus one. So here we'll write W1, W2, W3, W4, W1, W2, W3, W4, W1, W2, W3, W4, W1, W2, W3, W4, W1, W2, W3, W4. Now, the original problem, we converted everything, everything into greater than or equal to. So now everything will be less than or equal to now. Opposite sign in dual. Now, the last three can be simplified. Oh, first of all, let me write the right hand side of dual, which will be the objective functions coefficient of the primal. 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 and then minus 2 all the others are zeros okay now this i can simplify it as minus w1 less than or equal to 0 this will be minus w2 less than or equal to 0 this will be minus w3 less than or equal to 0 this will be minus w4 less than or equal to 0 which means Opposite, if I multiply both sides by negative 1, it will sign will swap. So, w1 greater than or equal to 0, w2 greater than or equal to 0, w3 greater than or equal to 0, w4 greater than or equal to 0. So, we got it now. These are the constraints. And the last four are non-negativity restrictions. These are non-negativity restrictions and first one is our objective function. This is our dual objective function. We can also uh, merge this uh, W1 and W3 like let W equal to I say W3 minus W4, 
then the dual will be what will happen maximize z star which is equal to minus 7 w1 plus 12 w2 here we have uh, i will take out uh, minus 10 outside what will happen then this will be w3 minus w4 which is nothing but w subject to so here okay here let us write minus 3 w1 then plus 2 w2 here you may notice 4 is common so 4 times w3 minus w4 is nothing but plus 4 times w less than or equal to 1 then here w1 minus w4 w2 here minus 3 is common it will become minus 3 and then minus 2 w1 this is 0 i can ignore it minus 8 w less than or equal to uh, negative uh, sorry negative 2 yeah then see if w3 is greater than or equal to 0 w4 is greater than or equal to 0 then what will happen to w3 minus w4 so if w3 is greater than w4 then this will be positive if w3 is less than w4 then this will be negative if w3 is equal to w4 then this will be zero that means w is actually unrestricted in sign so i will say w1 comma w2 greater than or equal to zero and w is unrestricted in sign because as i said if this is larger than this it will be positive if this is smaller than this then this will be negative if this is equal to this this will be zero so it can be anything that is why it is unrestricted in sign again in a linear programming problem generally you keep the right hand side uh, constants to be positive so i can rewrite this as negative w1 plus 4 w2 plus 3 w greater than or equal to positive 3 and then here 2 w1 plus 8 w greater than or equal to positive 2 so you may change these two constraints just to have those right hand sides constants to be positive so that's the uh, solution uh, or that is the conversion of a primal to a dual in case if it has got some mixed signs how we do it we learned that in this video in case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you i request you to please like it share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you